Hey guys, Rick at Tasty Guitar. Real exciting news. Tomorrow morning we're heading to Europe to play for a month. Uh, me and my wife will be doing a duo gig on a private yacht that we work on usually about once a year. So we're heading all the way from Vegas. We're in Vegas right now. It's about 95 degrees today. Chilly day for a summer in a day in uh, Vegas. And we're heading all the way to Amsterdam. Where's Amsterdam? It's, I know it's somewhere over here. It's there somewhere. <laughs> Anyways. And then we're going to be cruising up through Norway for a, a few weeks, and then we're heading all the way up to Svalbard. I don't know if I said that correctly. So sorry to the Norwegians. I had to bend the little thing here just so you could see Svalbard way up in the Arctic Circle. I'm going to be doing a two-week expedition up there, and uh, it's the northernmost settlement in the world. And while we're there, I'm going to be trying to continue to film and, uh, you know, do a couple little YouTube videos while we're up there, but we'll see how it works with logistics. And I just wanna run through the stuff that I'm gonna take, my kind of road gig and the stuff I need to take so we can continue to have some videos while uh, we're on the road. First up, let's just run through my little rig here, little road rig. Now I use this stuff, you know, for live gigs with my amp as well, but for the road, I gotta kinda of set it up a little bit different. Uh, pretty standard stuff here, exotic wah, running into the polytune, EP booster, this one stays on all the time. Great, great effect there. AC booster for a little bit of overdrive. SL drive is more of a kind of a high gain thing, which I almost never use, but you know, sometimes when you want to melt some faces, you put that one on. Another EC, uh, EP booster here, that kind of gives me a little bit more gain with this, and also a clean boost for these two together. I really like that sound. From there, I go into this TC21 blonde pedal. Now this is kind of a preamp and speaker simulator. And without this, I really wouldn't be able to use the pedal board at all, um, going direct into a mixer. This really makes it happen. Gives you some nice tone, a little bit of pick dynamics. Pretty great pedal there. From there, we go into the kind of the, uh, the modulation and delay. Got a little MXR chorus here. Flint reverb and tremolo, awesome pedal there. A little flashback delay. Mostly just I uh, use it for two settings, a regular kind of a delay for some solo stuff and a slap back. And then out to the Ernie Ball little volume junior there and out to the mixer and everything is kind of powered by this Pigtronics. This one is awesome because it allows you to do 110 and 220 power, which is really nice. Okay, cables. Try to bring as much spare stuff as possible. Strings, picks, that's all ready to go. Okay, so in order to kind of keep some filming stuff happen, I'm kind of bringing a little portable rig for that this time. Got a little light there. Hopefully we're gonna be outside shooting on some, some ice without getting ate by a polar bear. I'm gonna take a little bit of a recording rig in case inspiration strikes up there. Just a little recording rig here, a little USB uh, controller run it into Logic. And this thing, all this stuff right over here is gonna allow me to keep teaching uh, my students while I'm up there, uh, while I'm not gigging. And I will be gigging every night. I think it's 25 or 26 nights in a row. Um, so with this system, it just allows me this little roll and go mixer, runs off the power, power of the iPad. So it's totally portable. And this, I'll be using this stuff to uh, be able to shoot remotely as well. So anyways, um, hopefully we'll be able to do some stuff while we're up there and the Funky Friday lessons will be on location wherever we are that day and make sure you check them out. Normally I only post Funky Friday videos for my subscribers at tastyguitar.com but for the next month I'll be putting them public so everybody can check it out and hopefully we'll get some great stuff and maybe a couple surprises while we're up there as well. So be sure to stop by the channel each Friday. Hopefully I have something cool for you every week, and then I'll be back with full-length videos in September. Have a great summer.